Today I want to make a video using FreeScan software. FreeScan is available on RadioReference.com site. I would suggest getting a subscription. Once you get a subscription you'll have a username and password. It makes it so easy to program your scanner. I have a Uniden BCD996B2 scanner. I plugged my USB cable that came with the scanner in to the port there in the front and plugged it in to my USB port in my computer. The computer will identify your scanner. If it doesn't, go to ScannerMaster.com. They have the drivers there for your scanner for free. So let's get started. You want to open up the free scan software. When you open it, this box pops open. Up here to the top on the left, you want to click on File. Come down to Import. You'll notice that you can import a conventional radio system or a trunk radio system. I am going to choose a trunk system today. This box will pop open. You put your username right here. You put your password in. And then you click connect. You choose what country you're in. You choose what providence or state you're in. Then you choose what county you're in. It'll take a sec. Oh, I'm sorry. You gotta choose available system. These are the available systems that are available to me in my area. I'm going to choose uh, my statewide uh, troop trooper system. It's for our state troopers. Give it a sec. There it goes. You'll notice that there's 142 sites that are selected already. I always click the none button because I don't want to uncheck them individually. I scroll down to what site I'm looking for. My site happens to be called Imperial, Missouri. You come over here and you choose your county. I, I click the none button again. Now you can choose up to 20 different uh, counties. Uh, are available radio systems but I'm only going to choose one county you click import and you'll notice on the original box that opened when you open the program they're imported now up here at the top is the name of the system which so happens to be Missouri statewide now you can change the name right here in this box if you want to but I'm not going to change the name I'm just going to leave it now you want to give this system a quick key you have to give it a quick key so you come over here to quick key and I'm going to give it a quick key of 22. This box will pop open. Changing this will affect the quick key of all the sites under this system. Do you wish to continue? Yes. So you'll notice that my Imperial site now has the number 22. My system is named 22. Uh, I'm sorry, Missouri State, and it has the quick key of 22 
and my site has been given the number 22. Do not change those two numbers. You want it to be the quick key that you originally gave the system. So right here is the group. Right here. Now it's GRP. You have to give that group a, key, a quick key. So you come over here and give it a quick key. I'm going to give it a quick key of one. Up here are three icons. This is the upload icon. This is the download from your scanner icon. And this one is virtual control of your scanner through your computer. I'm going to click on upload. This box will pop open. You'll see that my system's right there and the box is checked. Make sure it's checked. And right here, if you give an error message when you try to upload, chances are the COM port is not correct. Right here is how you change the COM port. Here's how you change the COM port right here. And I always choose 4800. That always works for my computer. You close that box and you click upload. You'll notice it's uploading to my scanner. Once that's done, you're all set. If you have any questions or comments, drop me a line. Have a great day.